Hey guys, it's Avery. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. So I'm filming this outro, um, kind of like when the makeup is done. And I shouldn't be doing that, so I'm covering my face. So sorry if, look, if I look like an idiot. But you guys are just going to have to see what this challenge is. It's basically a no mirror makeup challenge. And I'm talking to an eyeshadow palette right now. But that's okay. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you want to see another challenge video. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey, so I don't even know if my hair looks good. I feel really awkward right now. Um, so we might as well just like get started because I, I just feel awkward. Like no mirror. And I usually look in the mirror during my videos. So this probably will help me with some mm -hmm. camera eye contact. So, um, let me see. What do I usually start off with? Okay, my biggest fear of this challenge is that I'm going to forget a step. So, hopefully I don't. I'm starting with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And just spray this. Oh, I'm almost out of this, guys. And I'm spraying this. And I'm going to just rub this in like I normally do. Okay, so then I'm going to do some... Uh, foundation. For foundation, I usually mix my Fenty Beauty and my NARS foundation. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there is like a Ziploc bag in front of me, which I'm gonna just mix this on. So I'm gonna take one pump, two pump, two pumps of the Fenty Beauty foundation. And then for my NARS, oh, this is choking me. For my NARS foundation, I'm gonna take one, two, three pumps, three pumps, and then let me just take a Q-tip here and just mixing it. I know you guys can't see it, but it looks about right. I got my Q-tip and my beauty sponge, and I'm just going to go in. So I'm taking this Eco Tool sponge, and hopefully I don't get this in my hair. And I'm just going to blend. I really just don't know where to look right now. I just gotta remember, blend, 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 and it will look perfect. Why am I closing my eyes? I don't know. <laughs> Where do I else? Let me just go around my entire face again, just to be perfect. It's time for concealer. So I'm taking my Tarte Shape Deep Concealer, and I put this under my eyes, and then um, on my forehead, and then down my nose and then on my chin and then I'm going to take a beauty sponge again and blend, 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 blend. Sorry if it is unfocused. I usually have a mirror behind my camera so I can see when it unfocuses but obviously this is a no mirror makeup challenge so I can't do that. So if it unfocuses then too bad. Oh, my arm is hurting from blending so much but like it's okay. Just in case. Now I usually cream contour and I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. And well, I don't have any cheat codes to feel, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go from my memory. So there, and then there, and a little up here. Oh, this is so wrong. Oh. Yeah, no, it's definitely a triangle. Blend away. Blend. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, now it's time to blend my nose. So I usually go like this. Blend this. We're going to take some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to take a little puff. And I probably shouldn't be doing this because I never use puffs. But just why not? It was in front of me. So. And just set this. And we're going to wipe that off with a little brush. I don't know if I need to wipe anything off, but we're just going to do it. Like, why? Now it's time for contour a little bit extra with some Kat Von D Shade and Light. Oh, there's a mirror on here, so I'm going to close it. And there's like, as you can see, the shades right here. So I use the middle one, so I'm just going to feel it. With, eh, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I'm gonna feel it. Okay, so I want this one. Come back, that one. And I want the low. Oh, I almost looked. I didn't though. I didn't. I swear. Contour my cheekbones. 
I'm taking my Florimar bronzer, and I know this has a mirror in it as well. So here it is, but it is a big pan, so I'm just going to take some. And this is super pigmented, so we're going to tap, 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 and then blend it, and it smells really good, so. So next is blush, and I'm just going to use this one from L'Oreal, this blush palette. You know, I use it like every day when I do my makeup. And I'm just going to blush up the cheeks. I'm not very scared for this because this is not super pigmented. So I can't, can't make a big look, I don't think. Next is highlighter. And I know there's a mirror because I can see the ring light reflection shining that way. So I'm not looking at it. But I'm going to take some. And this can either make or break my look. Hopefully, this will make everything look spectacular but it can ruin it depending on how much we use then i'm gonna take some on my nose and i also like to take a little on my finger and dot it on to the tip of my nose i'm using my anastasia brow definer sorry if you could hear my dogs um and i'm going to uh draw them on I usually do line down there and then blend. A uh, tail and then hair like strokes and then blend it. And I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and with this flat brush and hopefully make these brows perfect. So, uh, um, I'm gonna conceal under and i'm really bad at this and then i'm going to take my finger and blend this concealer in now i'm going to take that powder puff and just set that uh concealer so i'm going to use the single shadow from anastasia beverly hills and i got this at marshall's for 4.99 or 3.99 so it was a good deal and it is in the shade Fawn. It is a really nice transition shade and I'm just gonna go in my crease with this and just keep blending. So then I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because it doesn't have a mirror so it's gonna be like super easy. And I'm going to go into this dark chocolate shade right here and blend this in my outer corner and I'm just gonna keep blending. It's also going a little bit in my crease but not really. Well, I think I'm gonna do a cut crease because I hate myself. So, um, so I'm gonna take some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then apply this to the front of my lid. Curve it out. I normally do this. I think like this. And I'm gonna take, wait and then I I think I take some on my finger and I pat this down. And then I'm just gonna set this with like this light, like tan shade and just, just set the eyes. For my lid, I'm gonna take this other single shadow from Anastasia. And this is in the shade Gold Rush and it is the super pretty gold. And I'm gonna take some on this brush and uh, do this. AKA, um, cut the crease over that concealer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna take some of that chocolate shade and a little bit lighter and just blend. Okay, uh, hopefully it's recording. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I just poked myself in the eye. Oh! God. We're, we're still doing eyeliner here, but gotta be a little bit more careful, so go like that. And then I'm gonna connect. Okay, I think I did that. Um, so I'm gonna go back into this Morphe palette and take these three shades. And oh, wait, I gotta let that eyeliner dry. It's still wet and I can feel it, but. I'm gonna smoke this under my eyes. In my inner corner, I'm taking this shade, just popping that 
And next is mascara, and this is quite dangerous, but it's fine. Like, I'm fine, it's fine. So, I'm gonna apply this, and this is actually easier than you would expect. I'm gonna pop on this Tarte lip paint and in the shade TBT, and this is like one of my favorites. And uh, I'm gonna apply this. And then I'm done, guys, so this is what I look like. I know it's gonna be awful, and I'm gonna see soon. Okay, let me get my mirror. Oh my god! Wait! Holy! That is not bad. Wait, guys, it's actually not bad. I can see the eyeliner is a bit of a problem, but I actually kind of like, like, the open, non-filled in liner. So I'm going to try to do that, like, without, um, the, without messing up. And I do notice that there is, I didn't blend in this contour well. That one's okay. And, oh, that nose contour. Yeah, sweetie. Oh, God, you could see that right there. And my lips are kind of messed up. But for the most part, that is good. So proud of myself. Go me. Yes, I do see that there's some mascara under my eyes. But, like, I do that on a daily basis. Um, I just think the worst thing that it, I did is the nose contour. But other than that, Avery. <gasps> Damn! This is the finished look. I'm super proud of myself, as you can see in, like, the reveal. But, um, this is it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and comment down below if you have any more, um, what are these called? Challenge videos that you want me to do because I am so ready to slay the next one. This one was so good! So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And yeah, bye!